In this video, let's simulate clipper circuit using a thinner diode instead of an ideal diode. In the previous video, we simulated clipper circuit with ideal diode. But to control the clipped output waveform, we needed additional EMF battery source. When using thinner diodes, there is no need for additional sources. For better understanding, let us review one of the examples of our previous video. This was a clipper circuit with biasing voltages that clips both the positive and negative half cycle together at different voltage levels. Let us see the waveform. As you can notice, both positive and negative half cycle is clipped. Diode D1 clipped the positive half cycle and diode D2 clipped the negative half cycle. For more information, you can look at the previous video. I will put the link in the description. Now let us look at the Zener diodes to see how can we get the same waveform without using biasing voltages. Let us bring a voltage source, then add a resistor series to voltage source. Finally, we need to use back to back Zener diodes. Reverse this one. Now connect all the components. And add the ground. Now enter values. Right click on voltage source. Go to advanced. Select sign function. Let us enter 10 volt as amplitude and 50 Hz as frequency. OK. Enter 1K for resistor. Click on diode. Pick new diode. In this library, I don't have such a diodes to get the same clamped output voltage as this example. So I am going to create a new SPICE model. Click on this dot of icon. This is the plus that you can create your own SPICE model. I have already made it, so I am gonna paste that here. OK. Then change the name of diodes like SPICE model. Now let us look at these back-to-back -back diodes. And what can we expect of their working? When Zener diode is in forward bias mode, it acts as an ordinary diode with a constant barrier potential 0.7 volt. If it is a silicon diode, but when Zener diode is in reverse bias mode, it works as a voltage regulator or Zener diode clipping applications. For example, when reverse bias voltage is less than Zener breakdown voltage, it acts as open circuit. Uh, but when it is greater than the Zener breakdown voltage, Zener diode is replaced by a constant voltage source. Now let us run the circuit and see the waveform. The same as our expectation, in positive half cycle, diode D1 is forward bias and acts as an ordinary diode with a voltage drop of 0.7 volt. And diode D2 is in reverse bias mode. So it is replaced by a constant voltage source because breakdown voltage is less than the reverse bias voltage. So the total voltage across diode is the clip it at the breakdown voltage plus this forward diode drop. During negative half cycle, the opposite is happen. D2 is forward bias and D1 is reverse bias. And the voltage is clamped at minus VB plus 0.7 volt. If we compare these two waveforms, we can see the same waveforms. And there is no difference. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe.